Hello everyone and welcome back. In this video I will be teaching you how to play David Sis Arabesque number one and this is the final and fourth part. The first thing that you should know is the A major scale and it's like this. And what we're gonna start with is the left hand because I think it's the easiest. So what he's gonna do is invert this chord and flip it over here. And then he's going to move those notes up and down. That's it. Now he's going to pick a different chord for the next part. And you're going to have a G minor, like this. But what he does is flip it and keep it close to A major. So we're going to do... It's important that you bring that C sharp and the B. Okay? Then we're going to discuss an F sharp minor chord like this. He also will do the verses and put it close to the G minor that we played. So we'll have this. That's it. After this we're going to use the E major chord and we'll do the same process. Go to the inversions and put it in this voice in here. He's pretty much using those four chords from the beginning. Remember that we did this when you did those four chords: A major, G minor, F sharp minor, and E major. He used it in this way. It's like doing this. Instead, he'll do. That's it. So. Let's play left hand. That's it, that's what we have. Let's discuss the melody. So melody, we can start like this. And that's it, we have some more notes there, but let's wait for it. So, melody starts on A. Then we're going to add an E to it. We go there. We add D sharp in here. C sharp. It would sound like this if you play a little bit quicker, so. And that's it. Fingers for this. We start with the A on three, four, five, three. 2, 1, 3, 2, and C sharp 1. Now we're going to substitute here, put 3rd, substitute here, 1, and substitute here to allow us to play the next part. Now the funny thing is this all triplets, so we have to put this, and we're going to have all 2 against 3, 3 on the left hand, 2 on the right hand, and that's what we call polyrhythm. So let's figure it out. First one. No problems there. A matches. But here, when we get C sharp, we're going to match that note, but then we're going to do left, right, left together. So we're going to do this. Together here. Now, left, right, left together. And now it feels uncomfortable at the beginning, but that's what it is. If you split them and then gradually speed it up, it will flow better eventually. So. Just try to make that one uh, right. Now here we have again two against three. So we have A together, left, right, left, together. So. And always the triplets, the three notes against the two, always give a fantastic feel to the music. So, so you just spend a great deal trying to figure this out uh, the three against two so okay let's play up to there now we match that one and then we're gonna play G left right left and together and after that it's easy so if you could get through this you're fine so together left right left together 
left, right, left, together. Okay, I'm gonna do it very slowly one last time in case you're confused. So, together, together, left, right, left, together, left, right, left, together, left, right, left, together. Now it's easier here, together here. Don't have to do anything, matches each one. And that's it. If we play a little bit faster, remember that there's a crescendo. Remember that we have to bring those notes from the scale. So. Okay, the bad news is gonna do this two, three times. So we continue now. More chords now. We have the. D major here, and just remember, D major is like this, we flip it, right? So, we're gonna flip all the chords like this way. C sharp minor, we flip it here. And then we have a new measure, so. So, let's try to put the melody together. You have this as a melody. So, we have. Okay, so let's try to put it together now. So, we have left, left, Right, left, together, left, right, left, together, left, right, left, together, left, right, left, and together. Okay, if you can, if you are able to say it, you are able to play it. So try to verbalize it and say as you do this, and then it will come easier. If you just try to do it by just watching it, I think it might not work. So when you do it a little bit faster, be this. Okay? Now after that, you have solved the problem because now we'll have a B minor there, but it matches each note. And then when we get to the diminished here, also we have the same sequence. So we have D together, Left, right, left, together, left, right, left, and together here. Left, right, left, together. Okay, and that's it. Now, if working on them is quite difficult for you, just grab three notes. So you got these three notes here, and you play D, left, right, left, together. So, together, left, right, left, together, left, right, left, together, left, right, left, together, okay? So, same here, so together, left, right, left, together, left, right, left, and together. So, the polyrhythm, like I did, so pretty much, we match both notes, together at the beginning then we do left right left together so make sure that you're doing that now I'm gonna uh, do it one last time slowly so you can see it and maybe I verbalize it so that's how I want you to practice so if you start from 8 the whole line now so if you start here together together left right left together left right left together left right left together now it's easier now together here every three notes now we start with the same sequence so we start F sharp left left right left together left right left together left right left together left, right, left together. Now we match, so that's the measure that you have to work on probably the most. Depending on your level, I'm not sure. I never know your level, so I can't tell, you know. Together, now left, right, left, together. Left, right, left, together. Left, right, left, together. Left, left, and here, together. Left, 
right, left together, left, right, together. I cover a lot of material there. You could spend some time, a few minutes, with just one, three notes against two, and just do that, and don't get discouraged. So we start piano, maybe. Crescendo. Just now. Okay, I think that's the hardest part, and that he's throwing at you several three against two. So take your time, and if you have any questions, let me know. But probably, but I'm gonna say, and if you lose track of the notes, always do three notes against two, and split them in three notes. For instance, let me give you an example. If you have this, that's easy. But then here we have. Just do that only. Together, left, right, left, together. And you do just that one. When you do the next one, together, left, right, left, together. Left, right, left, together. You get the idea? Do the same work with all of these groups. Now, after when we get here, let me play one last time and then we continue. So. like an F we don't know yet but if it's an F sharp minor seven so A and we do this finger we do three two one and two and then we have this we grab this with the right hand and we run it up that's all there is so we do diminuendo so we start like this and then here we're gonna change One of the important things when you use the A, you try to get it to last the whole line, and we have triplets. One, two, three, 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 and we get to G sharp. And then we just try to do it like water or something that goes up and down. So. Take a little pause in the change of the harmony. So notice the same chord from before, G sharp minor. It's beautiful this ending. G sharp, D sharp. Those are the fingers. Arpeggio. When you have a bigger interval, slow down. Do try to mock a singer. A singer can go from B to B like a machine like this. Can't do that. So it will cause more trouble to get back to that interval when you adjust the pitch. So now F sharp now, but we're going to A. So that's the note that switches from there. A now, same here, and we go back to E, and this we already played it. So maybe I played these two lines, so... Beautiful pages there, just remembering what was all about and it's almost ending and it goes back to the theme so let's go back to the theme now so we have this crescendo diminuendo play with different sound G sharp piano unbelievable and now here it's the same thing same material from the beginning the only thing same chords it's split. I already work on these triplets at the beginning, so I'm gonna just play them. So, C sharp and B here. 
We repeat pianissimo now. And then here we're gonna end. And I want you to think on E major. Left is gonna play this note. Fairly simple. After you do these four notes, E, B, E, G sharp, you do the same thing, an octave higher, the same thing. And then we get to the chord here, E major. We count one, two, three, four, and we go to the octave. The right hand is gonna have this sequence. Memorize this, which we're gonna move it like this. Memorize this, we're gonna move it like this. Memorize that, and then it starts over. Same material. So I'm gonna put it together slowly. Left, right. Pianissimo. And then we go to E. If you play it a little bit quicker now. And we rest. I hope this video was helpful and if you enjoyed subscribe. Also, thank you very much and all my supporters from Patron and Buy Me A Coffee.